What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I hope you've all seen yesterday's video. It's a power guide. Damn helpful. Uh, loads of good feedback on it. So yeah, make sure to check that out before this video is even relevant to you. That's what you should be following before you get to this stage. Anyway, today's video, as you've seen probably on the thumbnail, yes, it is back to exclusive Gale again. Um, and I'll just show you why. Because I've been doing something a little bit wrong. Uh, I guaranteed most people are doing stuff wrong. I know a few of my buddies have been doing it wrong. So if we just go in, let's just get into the menus here and we'll just show you. So yeah, once you're up at the 90k stage, you can kind of go away and then farm your dark weapons to get your exclusive characters in the end. That's what the goal is. Everyone wants those exclusive characters. But if we look here, so here we go, here's Gale's one-handed exclusive weapon that we need to build up in order to get her character. And here it is, the stumbling block that is hitting every single one of us right now. These damn Zenith brilliance. Their drop rates are ridiculously low. And I've been farming these, so I've done the whole sneaky tactic, get the mac macro on all night, the auto clicker. Bang in loads of stamina, click my little box to use the stamina up and farm away on dark coins because if you hadn't seen when you get into the, the shop up here, go into exchange, go all the way down to your dark coins and this is where you can, if you want, buy the polycrystals to ascend the weapons, the supreme adorations to use when the skills are high enough level, just like we do with insignias or <laughs> the very, very cheap 100,000 coins, Zenith Brilliance. Got to be a long time before you even think of that if you waste your coins on it. So yeah, so I've just been farming the dark coins up and getting the other materials that are required, which do drop quite frequently, so there's no need to excessively do that. This is a method that people have been using. There are people out there in the global server with exclusive gales, and I'm pretty sure that somebody has an exclusive IKEA as well. So this method has been tried and tested. It is definitely going to increase your odds of getting these zeniths uh, more so than just farming. So what what is it people are doing? What are they doing to boost the sort of chances of these dropping? So anyway, as you go in, uh, you'll have this. If you haven't already started ascending one, you'll just have your dark coin quest easy, uh, your ticket quest easy, your tickets if you weren't aware I've shown it in previous videos it's on your chapter summons all the way down the bottom you can roll tickets and you get one zenith cube for free so you can get your weapon to stage five for free given that you've done these daily and got the materials and you also get your one time daily these things right here so yeah uh, the Japanese community eh, playing on their server they have completed thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of runs, documented it all, and it has been confirmed that the daily drop rates are higher than just your standard dark coin quests. So, what good's that? You can only farm it daily. Yeah, you're right. However, let me jump in here and I'll show you what these guys have been doing. I wish I paid attention to this. I didn't listen when people started talking about it. I shrugged my shoulders. What use is it? But after seeing the results when I'm stuck on stage six and people have completed their characters, Commencing it was a big mistake. So yeah, just start your fight, carry on through. It'd be really unfortunate if I got a drop right now. That would, that would be really, un let's hope not to get a drop for the first time I've farmed this. Well, yeah, you play through, get to the end of the second wave. As soon as you come to the boss, the top right, press your button, there you go. In this menu, you'll see I have two standard drops, three gold drops, no purple. That's no good. Get out of there, quit. It does consume the stamina, you're still going to have to spend for the stamina. However, when we go back to the menu now, you'll see that I can go back in here. I jump in, I press start, I do it again. And you farm those two waves over and over and over again. 
and there is loads of different characters so i mean if you accidentally lose attention and like you kill the boss because we're all pretty strong now that's that happens that happens frequently just move on to the next characters just do that you're only going for the brilliance it's the only thing we care about the other materials come by fast and easy so i just thought i'd let people know uh it isn't clickbait this is how to get your exclusive characters and this is how to speed up the length of time you're going to be farming unless you are the luckiest person in the world and these crystals drop for you more than anybody else so yeah just thought i'd get that out there uh, we'll end the video i'm going to do something that's going to hurt me and i'll probably regret it but i'm feeling lucky today after finding out this information i'm going to get some zeniths and i thought screw it so don't do as joy does do as i say not as i do i'm going to go to my rare meadows i am not going to get that large stamina recovery i'm going to buy oh do i want them or do I... no let you know what let's go one step up let's get a premium summon ticket four star guaranteed and then we're going to go to this screen and we're going to try find this premium summon ticket there it is, down the bottom. We're going to get Gale here, guys, for the video. Here we go. Are we ready? It's fate. I'm sharing knowledge with you guys to help you get your Gales quicker. So the game is going to gift me. Oh, we got a purple. We got a purple. This is a fucking staff. I'm done. Oh, my God. Yep. Done. Thanks for watching. See you next time.